Hey everybody, how you doing? I am doing pretty good. I'll tell you what, this weather is kooky here in Arizona. Last week I was breathing frost from my mouth, trying to paint in the cold freezing weather at 36 degrees at night. Now it's 60 degrees at night and it is actually 78 degrees right now. And it's warm. And so here we go from one minute turning the heater on just to keep ourselves warm last week. or Yeah, and then now this week, today, I just turned the air on. So I got my temperature set at 78, but it's still warm in there. Anyway, we'll get started, but yeah, it's warm. I'm sweating. Well, I've been running around a lot too, so. So did I tie? I don't need to tighten this. Feels good. Um, so what I'm going to do is a 16 by 20, and I'm using metallic blue, the Artist Loft uh, tube, level one. And then I'm using silver, the Artist Loft. I can't reach it. Let me get it. Flow metallic silver and artist loft black flow artist loft and that's it so I've done the painting actually two of these before for my daughter but I used amethyst because that's what she wanted was she wanted gray actually but we used silver instead and it worked just fine so I'm gonna do this again and here we go. Need about 12 ounces. There's no silicone in here. Just two parts flow trawl, one part paint. And uh, she's a little bit of water to thin them down to a warm honey consistency like syrup. Warm honey pancake syrup defines it really good. Okay, so here we go. And hopefully they're good. And I'll know when I start pouring it in my cup. <laughs> So that looks good. Don't want to get crazy with the black. And you know, it really doesn't matter which order I go in, because there's three of them here. So, and it doesn't matter, because they're all going to hit anyway. I think I'll just, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Quite a bit of the metallic silver. I really do want it silvery and of course just not so much black so that looks good consistency did be a little thicker but that's okay because it'll show up better a little bit pretty isn't it all right so here we go so now the worst part I always do is pour too thick of a big puddle in one area so I have to be very careful I do not do that <laughs> That's 
pretty thick. I guess it's okay. So I know my black is going to come out now. Put it over those purples. That's beautiful. So yeah, I'm kind of freaking out because... Well, until it starts getting real hot, I'll have to paint at night. So I was just cleaning up in here, and I swept up a sweat doing that. <laughs> Turn that around. You notice I don't have my turntable no more. It's sitting outside. Well, because I just turned that thing, the big old tray. Trying to fill in those little bald spots, and that was pretty easy. So that's really good. Right on. When you use a propane tank, you will tilt it down, it will start to flare up. You know better, you gotta lift up then. Real careful. Alright, so isn't that pretty? So let's see what happens. Hopefully there's no funny stuff. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is so pretty. If I can maintain what's going on in there, I will be very happy. <laughs> Because I'm so thirsty right now. I just think you know cold water. When it starts to, the temperature starts to change, it's real important to hydrate, guys. We tend to not do that and then we wonder why we're not feeling good. Oh please maintain this. Please. <laughs> Please paint. No funny business. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Even the one I got my daughter was not this pretty. You guys seeing that? Oh my gosh. off that purple corner oh yeah let me see that side 
side is their side on there, yeah. Hard to see when you're not. through my videos but I'm seeing something here yeah there I got it okay which corner can I get this one right did I get the size yeah okay I'm really happy about this one. So, I'm just trying to work that sides a little bit there. I didn't get there. I'm going to bring that back. Not to lose too much until I look at it. See if there's something I need to flow off, you know. I'm thinking I might have to this little round area right here. That black. Oh man, that's a bummer. Yeah. Let's do it now before all of our cells pop up. So bring that to the center nicely and just bring it down fast. Bring it back in the middle real slow. Oh, it's stretchy looking. All right. I love this right here. All right, let me look. Okay. Little black puddle right here. Just gonna go with that. And that's it. Got plenty of paint. Just can't see it when it's over. Over. There we go. Right on. Get back real slow. That's cool because I'm stretching that nice little gray area. See how it looks so gray? This is really nice. And I'm just going to bring that bottom, this part down just a little bit so it doesn't look so stretchy right there. That's it. Get around, man. That is beautiful. Hold on just a second. My son's calling me. Okay, sorry about that, guys. He just got home from school. And he's kind of spraying his finger when they're doing football. You know, catching the football, how that always happens, or balls. It's a little tiny hurting, that's all. He said it's not that bad. So we're going to put one of these stirring sticks on it and just kind of splint it a little bit. But this is beautiful. There is nothing I want to do to it. And I'm so happy about that, you know? It's just like, yes! I'm thinking maybe this little area right here, but I have to take a look here. Because I kind of want that gray up there, too. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stretch it a little bit more. It's okay, because there's plenty of paint still. Look at that. I see, I don't want to stretch, and I just ended up not stretching this out, and I didn't notice this end was creeping. Let me put my glasses back on here. Try not to take a long time for you guys. I'll 
just get that up there just a little and then stretch it back down. So I'm working on that little tiny area that just So that's gone. I'm going to bring it back over. You know what? I'm happy with it now. Now there's a little bit more there. That's why I like to put extra paint. So I'll stretch those cells out. Now I'm going to bring that back down. tilt it too much because it will go quick there we go <laughs> right on oh my gosh okay let me torch it I saved those cells in there I'm really glad about that Ooh, that's pretty. Not a whole lot of black, but the black kind of surrounded the silver. Gave it some selling, so that's cool. All right, let's take a look at this butte. Kept my daughter's watching. She's like, probably not, though, because she's got two of them already. One I did on wood and resin. It was actually my best one. Now, I think this one's super good because I, I stretched her cells. Get a little unit in here or I gotta move this stuff in the house here we go guys so it can be hung this way this is gorgeous this way too since that purples at the top too that can be like this oh my gosh or even this way doesn't matter right on Alright, so, yeah, I think I'm digging it this way the most, but I'll keep it this way for now. Even this way's good. Alright, so tell me if you like this one. I do. I love these together. And there's purple throughout it, so that's really, really good. course there's a whole bunch more up here which kind of is cool because it's a good little focal point there just lacing of the purple throughout it's really pretty okay have a good one guys I will catch you guys later thank you for watching oh, like share and subscribe if you'd like to that would be awesome and have yourself a good good evening Oh, and a good weekend, too. So, yeah, I'll be having fun. You, too, okay? Bye-bye, guys.